We are all used to the fact that only solid bodies possess magnetic properties. Is it possible to create, for example, a liquid magnet? At first glance, it's pretty simple. We just need to powder any ferromagnetic material and put it in a liquid medium. However, it was not so easy. Suspension of powder in liquid settled since powder particles were too heavy. And only in the 1960s, it became possible to obtain particles so fine that it did not precipitate when placed in a mixture of kerosene and oleic acid. It turned out that the obtained liquid had new, rather interesting properties. In the first place, such liquid is no more a ferromagnetic but a strong paramagnet, supermagnet. For example, if this liquid is poured in a vessel and a magnet is brought to its bottom, then the liquid forms quite an improbable antidote for liquids, a hill. If the magnet is brought from a side, the liquid will climb up the wall and can go after the magnet very high. If it is poured over water surface, it can be quickly collected by magnet. Nowadays, there are already many useful apl applications for piston seals and shafts for eternal lubricant for collection of spilled oil. In addition, magnetic liquid has another un unique feature. It is commonly known that less dense bodies float in liquid, and bodies denser than liquid itself sink. But if magnetic field is applied to such liquid, the sunk bodies start to emerge. Moreover, the stronger the field, the heavier bodies will rise to surface. This property of magnetic liquid is used for ore processing. In addition, magnetic liquid can play a role not of just the lubricant, but of the bearing itself. These bearings exist already and have the name of magnetohydrodynamic.